The Leatherman's Use S2. Let's check it out. Leatherman's been around since 1985 and they were some of the first to design a multi-tool with pliers in, integrated into the design. And uh, it's just a really great way, very convenient, great to slip into your pocket. Of course, Swiss Army knives were really the first multi-tool, but as far as really kind of taking it up a couple of notches, Leatherman did that. Now this is the Juice S2 and they make a number of different models in the Juice series. It's a very small pocket style. EDC multi-tool. The Leatherman Juice S2. Uh, there are a number of different models in the Juice line. Uh, the CS4 is one that actually has a corkscrew. But uh, what I was looking for is something more for EDC. Uh, I don't typically drink wine in the afternoon. <laughs> and so I figured that this would be a great tool for your pocket. And that's one of the things that I was really looking for is a very small tool to be able to carry EDC. Now we just checked out the Squirt. In fact, we did a full review on this. Uh, this is a really small, very capable little multi-tool with pliers. It does come also with the scissors. Uh, and then we're getting the Micra, which we're going to be checking that out, and some others because I was really looking for the perfect multi-tool for just EDC. I don't typically carry a multi-tool because they're fairly heavy. And so I wanted to have something that was really just small and fits in my pocket where I hardly notice it. Now one of the big changes from the original juice is the aluminum side scales and then it has this nice hard anodized finish. Uh, this is what they call the cinnabar. It's kind of a burnt orange but they do make some in like a gray color and I think they do others especially custom different finishes. Uh, but you can see it's just a really nice Leatherman here. Uh, very well made. I mean, Leatherman does a great job on their multi-tools. Now, there are 12 tools with the juice, at least this one. Um, we're going to open it up. And, of course, one of the main features of this tool is the pliers. And uh, it's one of the things that I really look for. Now, there are some that have scissors, but the pliers, to me, you know, are something that I use on a regular basis. Now it has the needle nose pliers here at the end. You can see they're very strong, but this gives you a lot of capability uh, for different tasks for needle nose. Now with the needle nose pliers, uh, you know, one thing, forming metal, being able to make repairs, things like that, they're good and strong. This is just some brass wire, but it'll definitely turn it really easily. The great thing about the juice is that the handle is large enough to where it doesn't make it super uncomfortable. And that is one thing to consider. But you've got these flat areas right here that give you a good grip on the tool. And uh, comfort is important. And if you need to bend some metal, sheet metal, things like that, this tool is definitely up for it. And then we have the standard pliers right here in the center. And uh, of course you can grasp things a little easier. You can get wide and get a good solid grip on it. And those are all serrated. Yeah, I'm afraid if you're looking for something to fit this, the juice isn't it. <laughs> then here we have wire cutters at the end. And uh, of course this is always good to have. But it also has hard wire cutters, so there's a cut here so you can get around, you know, the plastic or the insulation and be able to strip wire. Now the wire cutters can definitely cut through your basic gauge wire. This is just some paper, just a paper clip. Here we have a much thicker paper clip. Here we have a coat hanger. A little tougher. One thing about having that the wire stripper in there is that you have just a small surface 
for your wire cutter. I really, I think I'd like to have it all the way out, but if I needed the wire strippers, I could still get this, but it is kind of short. And so there are four tools just on the end, and uh, you can see the quality is just excellent. I mean, the fit and finish on these are just superb. And we're going to go ahead and close it up, and I'm going to show you the tools on the outside. It's really uh, very, it's fairly stiff actually, and the more you use it, it's going to kind of loosen up. But definitely has a little bit of some stiffness. Uh, right here, we have a can opener and a bottle opener. Kind of unique design with this coming out in one piece, but it's really strong. And of course, obviously, we're going to test that out. But I like that little lip because it allows you just to bring it out. Of course, we got a little CMMG tactical bacon. Got to get to that bacon, baby. Kind of got a little bit more of an unusual way to cut. A lot of times it'll slice through. This is just kind of pounding through. But if you're hungry, you'll do whatever, right? <laughs> now we got the rich flavor of bacon. Oh yeah, man, if you could smell this bacon. <laughs> it smells great. While this is a twist off top, it's all I had. And it works. The juice, the juice, give me the juice. And here on the other side, we have our scissors. Uh, these are spring loaded. And so you're able to, to make cuts. Scissors. Yeah, it makes it really easy to grab hold of right here at the back. Here we have some standard paracord. Cut right through it. One thing that is a little bit of a weak point is sometimes these can possibly break, but the great thing is Leatherman you know, has a five-year warranty on these, so if something happens. But I like the spring-loaded, because that way you can cut. And uh, these are good, solid scissors. You can grab hold of the whole body to be able to use. And so that really gives you some leverage. Now here on the other side, outside, of course, is your knife. This is also a difference from some of the original juices. Uh, this has more of a sheep's foot. Kind of, it doesn't come out to a drop point. And I think the originals had the drop point. Uh, but it's a nice little fairly thick blade and so for this size and of course I don't I carry an EDC knife always in my pocket and this is really just a backup but um, it's super sharp as far as sharpness of the knife yeah definitely super sharp and we have some standard 550 paracord just cuts right through it no problem also, when it comes to fire starting, I mean, this blade is just super sharp. So you can really, if you need to, get some kindling, tinder. You can really use this to, I mean, you can see how it's feathering it, and it just slices it. Of course, that was pine, and so here we have some more hardwood. While this wouldn't be your number one choice, it would definitely get you by. And of course, it's all wet out here, so everything's wet. <laughs> I need a fire. <laughs> the steel quality of the knife is 420 HC. Now, getting back inside the tool, uh, we have some other tools here. We have a really nice Phillips head screwdriver. And this is a solid screwdriver. Sometimes they'll have it abbreviated on one side, but this gives you the full, what they call the P2. And um, it's just a full Phillips head. So you're going to be able to get right into the grooves and not strip screws, which is really important. And our Phillips head screwdriver. I like having that handle. Allows you to really get a good grip on it. Now down inside here is a lanyard loop. And there's no real way to get to that. Um, it's one of the things I think they should have at least had a little catch to be able to pull that out and so to demonstrate it i'm going to take this little awl and we'll pull it out 
But, um, you know, if you're using this a lot and you have paracord or something attached to it, you know, you're going to have it out anyway. But it is a little bit of a pain to pull out. Then it just slides back in. Then your screwdriver also just tucks away. Now here on the other side, we have three flathead screwdrivers. We have a large, have the medium, and then the small. Of course, this can be used as an awl as well. And uh, it does have a chisel point, a chisel tip just on one side here on the larger one we also have that chisel point but it has these very nice little easy to grab little levers where you can pull this out and you can use these however uh, they do not lock but here you can see that even if it does close it just closes against the leg and so it's really not difficult to use and uh, as long as you're not putting too much pressure on it large flathead screwdriver Good to go. Oh, by the way, the UN is not your friend. Never know when you might need it. And you need some scissors. Even though you have scissors on your juice, it's okay. The flathead screwdrivers will work in your Phillips head, especially these tiny little Phillips heads. Sometimes they're difficult to find the right size. Now I'm ready to sharpen my pencil. And the weight on the Leatherman juice, 4.6 ounces. Now the juice closed is three and a quarter inches in length. It's one inch in width and thickness is 0.5 inches, just under half inch. With it fully extended, it's five and a quarter inches. So again, guys, it's a really small, very handy little small tool. And whether you put this in your pocket, you put it in a tackle box or your range bag or whatever. I mean, it gives you a lot of capability right here in one tool. So one of the things I like is, you know, guys, instead of carrying a whole handful of tools, you can do pretty much anything with this small little compact package and it just closes down really nice. The retail price on the Leatherman Juice is $69.95. Um, on the Leatherman website, these run $52.95 and that's where I ordered it from. I got on eBay and it was running about the same price and I'm sure Amazon, you may find them for a little cheaper. Uh, one thing I will say is there's a lot of used or pre-owned juices and a lot of other tools that you can really get some good deals on. Now of course, as far as different tasks, size will limit it. So that can be a con. Uh, so you have to decide what are your daily tasks, and that's the big thing. What is convenient? What do I need it for? Uh, if I really need a larger tool, then get a larger tool, maybe put it on a, a pouch on your belt, which I typically won't do. Uh, but if I'm really working on some projects that I need, that might be a good option. Um, as far as the lanyard, it was far down in, and that was a little tough to get out, so I would consider that somewhat of a con. But once you get it out, you'll use it, and if you don't need it, you can just tuck it away. Uh, the wire cutters are kind of short because of the wire stripper and so you know that's also it's, it gives you an added bonus but yet it makes it a little harder to be able to get that wire with that small surface but all things considered I love this little tool I think it's very solidly built and it's good construction the finish is excellent and so I think it's really a great option for EDC. Now coming up, we're gonna compare some of the small multi-tools and we'll definitely take the Juice, the Squirt, and the Micra, just kind of see which one might fit you best. And uh, I think it'll be interesting. I'm looking forward to it because I've really been thinking about what is the tool I wanna to carry in my pocket. Guys, if you're serious about prepping and survival, check out Survival Dispatch Insider. Some of the top names in the survival world are contributors there on the Insider. Uh, we upload one video that is exclusive to the Insider a week. We have a link down below in the description. Check it out. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Other models, I mean, they still have some of the top quality. I don't want to talk about it all that. Right here on the, the piece, and uh, here we have some, there were some scallop, there's some scallops. When it comes to the wire cutters, I need to put on my glasses. Four pounds, four pounds.
This weighs four pounds. 